no one cares about an adult 25 to 54 rating or demo buy anymore, right? Although those buys are still happening that way, our clients are looking for, what about my target audience that I'm going after? What am I delivering against? Are we reaching those people specifically? I don't care about the waste of the others. So we back into that a lot right now. And so where we're trying to go is, can we actually make those deals happen across platform from linear and actually digital, merging those against those specific audiences. So um, in some specific instances on my end, we're not just doing one audience, but now we're looking to break that up into multiple, to your point, to personalize more for those audiences um, to get the right message to the right audience at the right time. As the world we're living is more fragmented, you're paying just as much money, or if not more, every year, and you're getting less viewership specifically for TV. So that is a challenge every marketer is facing and our clients are challenging. Why am I paying more if I'm not getting the same audience? So I think there's two things there. We are getting some of the audience that is crossing over from a digital standpoint too. Not all of it necessarily is being fully reported and that's what we're trying to find right now is, is there a better way to aggregate all of these specific uh, measurement structures from a linear perspective and a digital? Can these come together? There are some that are doing it right now. I think at the end time, we still haven't been able you know, to capitalize across all of viewership and leverage that from a commercial standpoint. So that is a challenge for us. I think the opportunity to, to actually ensure that we're actually getting some of those um, hits that are probably on a linear scale, not doing as well, but are being picked up across a Hulu or Netflix or some other places that are actually driving some of those sizable ratings. The good that's coming out of what's occurring right now is actually the amount of great content that's in the marketplace. So from a marketer standpoint, there's never been a better opportunity to align with more relevant content for your brand purpose. That is the greatest thing out there is now people can make quality video really affordable. So it's now to the masses where we can now see um, multiple times the amount of content that was a few years ago available in the marketplace. The challenge with that is the fragmentation, of course, but with that offers so much more great content to align with and distribute your message with purpose to that content as well. A lot of my brands are very performance focused, so we have a strong first party database by knowing who our current user is. We also try to figure out who the potential users of these products are um, in different various aspects. So with those, there's no longer one large audience we're going after. There's probably 13 different targets I'm now dissecting to ensure that we're actually delivering the best message in the right time for those audiences. So someone who may, may not be ready for my product now, maybe needs to be informed of it, will be a future um, converter. And so we're looking for those places that we can uh, get our message out there, um, persuade, inform, drive favorability, and then convert. And with that, there's, depending on your product, there's so many different categories, so many different slices of audiences you can go after, and messaging too, that you're actually speaking to those audiences. Looking forward to emerging tech, everyone's talking about PR still. And my biggest question is, how is that going to scale? And I don't think it's been the code's been cracked just yet on that. Who's the first one to actually do that? I'm not sure yet. I've seen some great stunts done so far, but the people that are actually using it, it's very small based. It's still not an enjoyable experience for me. Um, so I think that's an area to evolve. Maybe we can get away from looking silly with these lenses on your face and find something, there's a new way to do it. Um, but I think there's something in the virtual realm that's still to come to make it more of an experience. Think more of like the Princess Leia experience from Star Wars and the R2-D2. Uh, that's where I think something will be coming. I think it's not there yet, but um, that's something I'm looking forward to.